Thus said the Lord unto me, Go and get you a linen girdle, and put it upon your loins, and put it not in water. So I got a girdle according to the word of the Lord, and put it on my loins. And the word of the Lord came unto me the second time, saying, Take the girdle that you have got, which is upon your loins, and arise, go to Euphrates, and hide it there in a hole of the rock. So I went and hid it by Euphrates, as the Lord commanded me. And it came to pass after many days that the Lord said unto me, Arise, go to Euphrates, and take the girdle from there, which I commanded you to hide there. Then I went to Euphrates, and digged, and took the girdle from the place where I had hid it. And behold, the girdle was marred, it was profitable for nothing. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Thus says the Lord, After this manner will I mar the pride of Judah, and the great pride of Jerusalem. This evil people, which refuse to hear my words, which walk in the imagination of their heart, and walk after other gods, to serve them, and to worship them, shall even be as this girdle, which is good for nothing. For as the girdle cleaves to the loins of a man, so have I caused to cleave unto me the whole house of Israel, and the whole house of Judah, says the Lord, that they might be unto me for a people, and for a name, and for a praise, and for a glory. But they would not hear. Therefore you shall speak unto them this word. Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Every bottle shall be filled with wine, and they shall say unto you, Do we not certainly know that every bottle shall be filled with wine? Then shall you say unto them, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I will fill all the inhabitants of this land, even the kings that sit upon David's throne, and the priests, and the prophets, and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem with drunkenness. And I will dash them one against another, even the fathers and the sons together, says the Lord. I will not pity, nor spare, nor have mercy, but destroy them. Hear you, and give ear. Be not proud, for the Lord has spoken. Give glory to the Lord your God before he cause darkness, and before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains, and while you look for light, he turn it into the shadow of death and make it gross darkness. But if you will not hear it, my soul shall weep in secret places for your pride, and mine eye shall weep sore and run down with tears, because the Lord's flock is carried away captive. Say unto the king and to the queen, Humble yourselves, sit down, for your principalities shall come down, even the crown of your glory. The cities of the south shall be shut up, and none shall open them. Judah shall be carried away captive, all of it. It shall be wholly carried away captive. Lift up your eyes, and behold them that come from the north. Where is the flock that was given you, your beautiful flock? What will you say when he shall punish you? For you have taught them to be captains, and as chief over you. Shall not sorrows take you? as a woman in travail. And if you say in your heart, Wherefore come these things upon me? For the greatness of your iniquity are your skirts discovered, and your heels made bare. Can the Ethiopian change his skin, or the leopard his spots? Then may you also do good, that are accustomed to do evil. Therefore will I scatter them as the stubble that passes away, by the wind of the wilderness. This is your lot, the portion of your measures from me, says the Lord, because you have forgotten me and trusted in falsehood. Therefore will I discover your skirts upon your face, that your shame may appear. I have seen your adulteries and your neighings, the lewdness of your whoredom and your abominations on the hills and the fields. Woe unto you, O Jerusalem! Will you not be made clean? When shall it once be? The word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah concerning the dearth. Judah mourns, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground, and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up, 
and their nobles have sent their little ones to the waters. They came to the pits and found no water. They returned with their vessels empty. They were ashamed and confounded and covered their heads because the ground is chapped for there was no rain in the earth. The plowmen were ashamed. They covered their heads. Yes, the hind also calved in the field and forsook it because there was no grass. And the wild asses did stand in the high places. They snuffed up the wind like dragons. Their eyes did fail because there was no grass. O Lord, though our iniquities testify against us, do you it for your name's sake, for our backslidings are many. We have sinned against you. O the hope of Israel, the Savior thereof in time of trouble, why should you be as a stranger in the land, and as a wayfaring man that turns aside to tarry for a night? Why should you be as a man astonied, as a mighty man that cannot save? Yet you, O Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Leave us not. Thus says the Lord unto this people. Thus have they loved to wander. They have not refrained their feet. Therefore the Lord does not accept them. He will now remember their iniquity and visit their sins. Then said the Lord unto me, Pray not for this people for their good. When they fast, I will not hear their cry. And when they offer burnt offering and an oblation, I will not accept them, but I will consume them by the sword, and by the famine, and by the pestilence. Then said I, Ah, Lord God, behold, the prophets say unto them, You shall not see the sword, neither shall you have famine, but I will give you assured peace in this place. Then the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination and a thing of naught and the deceit of their heart. Therefore thus says the Lord concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, and I sent them not. Yet they say, Sword and famine shall not be in this land. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. And the people to whom they prophesy shall be cast out in the streets of Jerusalem because of the famine and the sword, and they shall have none to bury them, them, their wives, nor their sons, nor their daughters, for I will pour their wickedness upon them. Therefore you shall say this word unto them, Let mine eyes run down with tears night and day, and let them not cease, for the virgin daughter of my people is broken with a great breach, with a very grievous blow. If I go forth into the field, then behold the slain with the sword, and if I enter into the city, then behold them that are sick with famine. Yes, both the prophet and the priest go about into a land that they know not. Have you utterly rejected Judah? Has your soul loathed Zion? Why have you smitten us, and there is no healing for us? We looked for peace, and there is no good, and for the time of healing, and behold, trouble. We acknowledge, O Lord, our wickedness and the iniquity of our fathers, for we have sinned against you. Do not abhor us for your name's sake. Do not disgrace the throne of your glory. Remember, break not your covenant with us. Are there any among the vanities of the Gentiles that can cause rain? Or can the heavens give showers? Are not you he, O Lord our God? Therefore we will wait upon you, for you have made all these things. Then said the Lord unto me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my sight, and let them go forth. And it shall come to pass, if they say unto you, Where shall we go forth? Then you shall tell them, Thus says the Lord, Such as are for death to death, and such as are for the sword to the sword and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. And I will appoint over them four kinds, says the Lord, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. 
and I will cause them to be removed into all kingdoms of the earth, because of Manasseh, the son of Hezekiah, king of Judah, for that which he did in Jerusalem. For who shall have pity upon you, O Jerusalem, or who shall bemoan you, or who shall go aside to ask how you do? You have forsaken me, says the Lord. You are gone backward. Therefore will I stretch out my hand against you and destroy you. I am weary with repenting, and I will fan them with a fan in the gates of the land. I will bereave them of children. I will destroy my people, since they return not from their ways. Their widows are increased to me above the sand of the seas. I have brought upon them against the mother of the young men a spoiler at noonday. I have caused him to fall upon it suddenly, and terrors upon the city. She that has borne seven languishes, she has given up the ghost. Her son has gone down while it was yet day. She has been ashamed and confounded, and the residue of them will I deliver to the sword before their enemies, says the Lord. Woe is me, my mother, that you have borne me a man of strife and a man of contention to the whole earth. I have neither lent on usury nor men have lent to me on usury, yet every one of them does curse me. The Lord said, Verily it shall be well with your remnant. Verily I will cause the enemy to entreat you well in the time of evil and in the time of affliction. Shall iron break the northern iron and the steel? Your substance and your treasures will I give to the spoil without price, and that for all your sins, even in all your borders. And I will make you to pass with your enemies into a land which you know not, for a fire is kindled in mine anger, which shall burn upon you. O Lord, you know. Remember me, and visit me, and revenge me of my persecutors. Take me not away in your long suffering. Know that for your sake I have suffered rebuke. Your words were found, and I did eat them, and your word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of mine heart, for I am called by your name, O Lord God of hosts. I sat not in the assembly of the mockers, nor rejoiced. I sat alone because of your hand, for you have filled me with indignation. Why is my pain perpetual and my wound incurable, which refuses to be healed? Will you be altogether unto me as a liar and as waters that fail? Therefore, thus says the Lord, If you return, then will I bring you again, and you shall stand before me. And if you take forth the precious from the vial, you shall be as my mouth. Let them return unto you, but return not you unto them. And I will make you unto this people a fenced brazen wall, and they shall fight against you, but they shall not prevail against you, for I am with you to save you and to deliver you, says the Lord. And I will deliver you out of the hand of the wicked, and I will redeem you out of the hand of the terrible.